morning hello and welcome to like 5 a.m <laughs> um pat and i didn't sleep very well we're very jet lagged but we're in animal kingdom lodge so everything's gravy um today we are going to pop century art of animation uh yacht club epcot and what is it flying fish in the evening Flying fish and the boardwalk, the sea, and abracadabar. Um, so it's going to be a jam-packed day filled with lots of fun. Um, if you weren't here for the last video, I will just put a small disclaimer in to say whilst this is not a paid sponsorship, uh, this is made in partnership with Walt Disney World. Bling! I look a bit better now. Uh, we are about to head out. We're going to go up to the... Um, lounge and go and get some breakfast. We are currently looking at some animals. We got a giraffe. Oh, oh, there. Got some antelope, bounty buck, something like that. Um, and then we are meeting up with the rest of the group about 8.30. So it's only seven now, so we've got some time to chill out and wake up a little bit more. They've got a fuel rod swap in here. So if you do not already know about Fuel Rod, you obviously haven't been watching my videos for very long. Um, basically, they're these portable chargers, they cost $30, and then you basically get a power pack when you first buy it, and then you can just pop them in and swap them out. Like, that is gonna, oops, press swap first. I'm oh, sorry, not done it in a while, but. In she goes. And down she blows. Uh, but I actually forgot my fuel rod this time, but fuel rod were like, don't worry about it, we got you covered. So um, I'm just going to pick up a new fuel rod and we will head up. So this is what the pack looks like. And thank the Lord, it includes a USB-C, which is what comes on my Google Pixel 2. Yay. Yes, African aesthetic. Yes, fireplace that I love so much. So club level is the lounge up there. We'll take you up and show you around, show you what's growing, growing, going. Goodness me, Adam. We're going to the Kilimanjaro Club. Yes. Do you feel like you belong? I always belong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that view. Love it. And we are definitely the first ones here. We've got plenty of lounge seating. We've also got a little lounge space with a TV, which is cool. Uh, they've got a fridge with like apple juice, milk, Coke, all sorts. Ooh, that's oh Greek yogurt, very nice. Got jungle juice. I know, I told you. Oh, we love a jungle juice. We it love a jungle juice. <laughs> what? Please refrain from filling personal bottles because we would all do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, we've got coffee, tea, near espresso machine, amazing. Uh, we've also got some things to add to your, like, yogurts. Uh, I don't think it's all out just yet, but I've also got some jams for toast and stuff. So yeah. Oh, and cereal. Perfect. Right, so we have oatmeal, we've got African spiced corned beef hash, smoked salmon, cheeses and meats, fruits, pastries. Like, this is amazing. The fact that this is included in Club Level is ace. So I've got a cream cheese bagel, I've got a selection of stuff and then we've also got mimosas i think they're made with jungle juice as well yeah, so do I, the color. love it oh my god that is a view jeez louise we've got like 45 minutes or so until we meet up with the rest of the group um, but for now we're going to go down to the merchandise store and buy myself a magic band because no grey. They haven't got magic bands here, but I'm hoping that we're going to get one at Epcot today. Oh, you want bloody baby clothes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love this store though. It's got fantastic theming and all the African inspired things you could possibly want, including drums. Currently just chilling out on one of the uh, lobby balconies, watching the sun rise over the savannah. Not too, sh not too shabby for Adam and Pat. Not too shabby at all. 
um, what's that line of Miranda that's like, uh, oh, problem with the rocking chair is if you go too fast, you look a bit manic. <laughs> so we've met up with a group and we have a, a minivan convoy. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, this is so cool. Uh, so we're in a minivan. If you're staying at a participating Walt Disney World Resort, you can get the Lyft app and it pops up on there and it's a fixed fee of like $25. Now, if you're going from like Animal Kingdom to Magic Kingdom, it's pretty good, pretty decent value, especially because you get like a Disney cast member driving you. And can we just, well, you can't really see it, but like appreciate how cool the car looks. So our lovely driver Paula just uh, reminded me that we've got, they've got uh, car seats in the back. So they've got two car seats. So if you've got kids sorted and if you're going to like Magic Kingdom and stuff, they'll drop you off at the bus stop so you don't have to like if you get an uber or something you've got to like go to a resort and then like get a monorail over but minivan's got you covered <laughs> so we're here for a little tour of pop century uh i'm not sure how much we're going to be able to like share with you but we'll check in with you with a pen come on you taught me this Our tour guide Katie just said that every day at 1.30 they do the hustle in the lobby. We thought we'd just come straight to the 90s because this is where we belong. Yes, that's what my first phone looked like. <laughs> it gen no word of a lie, it was my first phone. I had Nokia 3210, that babe for <laughs> I always wanted, I always wanted a flip phone but I never got one. You still got these, these calculators, we still have them now. Yeah, they used to make you pay like 50 quid to get yeah, those. So oh, the Dreamcast. I remember playing Barbie. Crazy Taxi on that. Barbie. Pokemon cards. Game Boys. <laughs> so here we are, got some merchandise. Oh, your shopping needs, yes. Shoes here once. No chocolate chip pancakes today, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you're gonna come to the food court here, make sure you get the chocolate chip pancakes. They are everything. Flashbacks to April 2016. Yeah. yeah. If you're looking for an Instagram wall, yes. So Katie is telling us about how like the buildings have like words from the era on. What words do you think would be on the 2018 decade one? Slay. Yas queen. Yas queen. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Kids these days wouldn't even know what that is. <laughs> this pool is a bowling alley. I've never seen this before. It's in the shape of a bowling pin and they've got like bowling balls there. And then this is like the lane, which I love. Want to play Twister, anyone? Right on red. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the telephone Mickey over here. I wish I owned one of those. Kat was just saying how much we're enjoying, like just looking around the resort. Yeah, we're used to just going to like the pool or like having dinner or something. So it's nice to like actually see it. Yeah, like than... who knew there was a Twister board there? So Adam wouldn't play though. I did just roll my eyes, but you can't see it. <sighs> I don't look good at, from those angles that you get in Twister. I'm wearing right? skirts. I can wear a skirt too. I definitely can't. I look, I'm like an ugly girl. So in case you haven't seen it, my end of Florida vlogs. Here's a check at the new Pop Century rooms. So this is what? Just a standard. This is a standard Pop. This is a standard Pop Century room now. I'm enjoying this fridge and this little. Just so I can help um, demonstrate some of the, awesome. some of the uh, things oh, yeah. that we have. Oh, you got a Murphy bed in there. Yes, so this is our Murphy bed. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so an easy pull down. And look who it is. So the, these are both queen size beds as well, and then we have plenty of pillows over here on this bed. To share nice. Here. And then also a new feature that we have are these USB ports. 
to help yes. people with their tablets and things like that. So it's really I think everybody appreciates that. Space for suitcases. Yes, absolutely. So I think I said it when I actually stayed here, but it's really handy for like parties of two or even just one. Like the fact that you get the dining room space and everything it's like so that. Much space. And it's such an improvement. Really they're, they're done really, really well. It's very art of animation in that way that they've upgraded it with the bed. It's, yeah. But it's smaller than the suites because obviously it's a suite and art of animation. Yeah. It just makes sense. It's the right, it's really it's the right like size it, for yeah. a couple. Um, and uh, apparently all, almost all the rooms at Pop Century are now refurbished. So if you're booking a trip now, chances are you're going to be like in a refurbished room. So they've got the Rubik's Cubes here in the 90s. But fun fact, which Katie told us, this one then leads to another one, which leads to another one, which leads to another one, which eventually ends up being solved. They've got 2,880 rooms here at Pop Century and they're almost always booked, which makes sense because that's why we can never stay here. <laughs> we do last minute trips, we don't really like to book in advance. So in order for Disney to create that movie, they asked Warner Brothers for permission to use their characters and they said only if Bugs Bunny has just as much airtime as Mickey Mouse. So in the movie, you will see Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny in the same scene at the same exact time to make sure that they did that, along with Daffy Duck and Donald Duck. So that was the deal with Warner Brothers, was if there's a Disney character in there, a, a Looney Tunes character has to have the same amount of airtime. So that's how they got around that, was just putting them together. And that's how we kind of merged those two universes, which is really cool. And that is about the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I used to have one of these. Now, if it broke all the time. <laughs> Pop Century was great. We're now heading into Art of Animation. I really enjoyed that talk. Yeah, that was really nice. It was nice to see it from a different aspect. Um, so, we learn. We want to stay at Pop Century. Book ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we want to stay at Pop Century, but we can never get in because it's so full all the time. Um, one of the things Katie was saying was that there's a big cult following behind it. And we were like, we definitely realised yeah. that. Um, and also they're opening the skyline which is going to be built on the bridge between Art of Animation and Pop Century. So that will be available in the next few years. In fact, you can just see a pylon through the trees. You can see we have a mag. I'm loving this, it's like we're arriving at each, like, we're staying here. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's amazing. And uh, we'll go inside and you're going to see some of our immersive characters and things like that. that you didn't even have to steal it off the cruise line. This is what we call our character development wall. So, fun fact that I know about The Lion King, Timon wasn't actually supposed to be a character in the film. Uh, the voice actor who auditioned for... Um, oh, sorry. The voice actor who did play Timon actually auditioned for Zazu. And then they said, well, we haven't got a character for you, but we love your voice, so they created Timon. So, do you remember at uh, Hollywood Studios, they used to have a uh, drawing class? Well, whilst that's now closed, because Star Wars is there, um, you can still come here three times a day and get animation drawing classes. And they do that right at the back of the lobby over there. So if you look at this chandelier as you come in, some of the artists that were, were actually drew these have s got up and signed them, which is really cool. There's another signed one there. Art of Animation and uh, Pop Century kind of have a similar setup in like the way the food court's laid out and the merchandise and everything, so they're not dissimilar. Uh, but uh, I've got got different room combinations, which are bigger, uh, better for bigger families. Possibly one of the best quick services. We're just all about the chocolate chip pancakes. That's what we love. Portly's Riverside is my favourite quick service. You can definitely see the comparisons between Pop Century and Art of Animation here. This is the pill that underneath the water you can hear music. <gasps> no <laughs> way! <laughs> Pat's fact. Pat's that? fact. That's a, oh that's a God, new segment. <laughs> it's like the so so season. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Pat. <laughs> we're popping into Crush's building. We're going to check out one of the Finding Nemo suites. This is our family suite. Our Finding Nemo family suite. Sorry. This is the Finding. Wait, I want to see what the curtain is. Like, yes, we love a shower curtain. Yeah. Oh, is there anything behind it? Tile. We like tile. Oh, 
we do like a tail. <laughs> Look at that. Fish are friends. Where's the dog? I think you just um, have to finish it. Not food. <laughs> I like this. It's like the Little Mermaid rooms, but a little bit more grown up. Yeah. I like a tile. I do like a tile. I do like how they have like the adults one, and then we have like the kids, the kids showers. Yes. I also like their peach to the products like everywhere rather than the other ones. Yeah. You know, like the other ones. You guys probably noticed this. The art when we got inspired by you, so actually, we've been drawing everything. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, wow, wow, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. It's mental. Oh, amazing. Look how I like thin her, I look. Like, I like her. I know, I know, same. <laughs> so, our art of animation was fab. These are everything. Like, the coolest things ever. So thank you Disney for doing that. Uh, thank you. We're now heading over to the Yacht Club to go to Ale and Compass. Hashtag lunch, hashtag I'm starving. Favorite part of the trip so far? Private transportation. Yes, marine aesthetic. The Ale and Compass Lounge is everything I want in interior design. Look at it. We're having lunch at the Ale and Compass. I actually had uh, lunch here on Christmas Day, believe it or not. You haven't been here since it was Captain's no, Grill. No, I've not been since it's Captain's Grill. It's amazing. I love like it's sort of like this. Oh, oh, we're in a little private dining room. Very nice. <gasps> Caramelized leek and chorizo pie. I know. I am so excited. It's so good. Thank so we've got some appetizers to share. We've got drunken goat's cheese here. We've also got this bread with like cheese. This was like a bacon jam. Which was quite nice. Yeah, that was really good. I like this bit. It's a bacon bit. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Got a sausage and an egg pie. Oh my gosh, Bill, you're so Were you expecting like pie pie? I was like, expecting oh, a pie. Yeah, yeah. British pie. <laughs> so we've had bread. We have had goat's cheese. We have had a pizza. And now we have a salad coming. And then we've got an entree after that. Help. And dessert. What? <laughs> Lunch and they oh lunch. my goodness. It's crazy because it's lunch and then you're like, and then dinner is like, dinner is like lunch. lunch and you're like. We now have a salad and oh my goodness. The table is destroyed. That was an amazing meal. And now we have to roll me out. If you've seen my uh, Christmas Eve vlog, you would have already seen this room, but this one smells very new, and apparently they've just finished refurbishing all 600-ish rooms. Amazing. My favorite thing is the curtains. Yeah. I love astronomy. Oof, this is a room with a view. Isn't it so nice? Look, see? Ooh. I'm, I'm in I like compact. Yes. I also like the mirror. We love a bit of tile. Oh yeah, like, I like how you have My favourite thing is this lighting border. I'll definitely want that in my house one day. So as well as checking out one of the rooms, we're about to check out one of the suites. Ambitions. <sighs> Interior design goals. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Wow. Oh wow! So, like, I'm loving hearing everyone coming through going, oh wow! <laughs> Super nice. <laughs> <gasps> this carpet is everything. Oh my god, that oh, bed! This is larger than my living room! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, no, it just keeps going. <laughs> Like you got a, there's like a makeup table there. 
the candy, yeah. Everybody's like, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Oh this like this is just insane. So not only is there one bedroom, there's two bedrooms. This is so well done. So this is so this is a hotel room, and then <laughs> you've got the house. <laughs> you can watch illuminations from your balcony at the Commodore Suite, and then you get this amazing view of the pool, boardwalk. Swan and Dolphin over there. I wouldn't be surprised if you could see Hollywood Studios from here as well. It is very, very bright, but this room is insane. These are like, like, this is what I want my interior to one day look like. So if you're interested in staying in the Commodore suite, it will set you back approximately uh, between $1,500 and $3,000 a night. Worth it. <laughs> you know it's expensive when they've got a bath? separate from the shower yeah like it's not like the combo true i'm into that i'm into the mirror yeah i'm into like all of this that suite was everything i want to stay there gold gold so a fun fact uh our guide nelson told us is that if you've been to yacht club you'll know there's like a shipwreck at the front which is like the water slide? It's the water slide. What's the water slide? It's 192 feet, I think they just said. Ooh. Around that. 100 She's very good at listening to the numbers. I I'm am not. A, I like numbers. Um, but all the things that are in the room are meant to be like artifacts that have come from their ships. So if you look at like the lamps and stuff, they're like vases. They've got like the models over there. They've got the ropes that are hanging down from the balconies and stuff. Um, additionally, we're on our way to Epcot, which I'm, which I think we're both super excited we are. about because we are both excited. Epcot is bay. Um, we've just been given twenty-five dollar gift cards to do some food and wine. Yeah, I thank you. Definitely can't eat anything. Thanks. Like that. I might know. I'll be kind of margarita. <laughs> um, Disney, you're the best. I love you. Thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. Fun thing about the gift cards we've just been given. Pat just found out they're scratch and sniff. They smell really nice. They smell very fresh, like flowers. Mmm. Mm. On our way to enjoy some free time at Epcot. Yes. Um, I'm in desperate need of a pee yeah, again. Which I drank a lot of Shirley Temple at lunch. Um, lunch we might. Was lunch was a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> I think they kind of skipped dessert because we were all like, no. <laughs> the ship. The slide. Who've been on that? No. It's really fun. And then in the pool. Like I really like the pool in the Lazy River and everything. It's so nice. When you when you get at the end of the water slide, they have a waterfall that pours water on you. Oh. My mum didn't know that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Let the magic was. begin. Well, the magic has already begun today, but you know, let's add to the magic. Right. This weather is everything. Like. That's a Gillian and Hillary word, by the way. That's why I keep doing it. I've been I watching their vlogs her. recently. Um, if you don't know who Gillian is, she's amazing. She's my favourite Disney vlogger, and I will link her below. Um, the weather is nice and warm. It's hot in the sun, but not too shabby in the shade. Um, we're just going to kind of stroll around. We've got some fast passes we can use. So we can go and do Frozen. Test track. Thorin. Yep. Hearing the area music I is really that. weird. <laughs> we are currently on our way around to Frozen Ever After because ride goals. Um, after that, we're going to grab a avocado margarita. Literally changes lives. It's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> I'm not a mar 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 uh, margarita person myself, margarita. but I am going to get a Violet lemonade. lemonade from Pineapple Promenade. I haven't had it for over a year, but it's the best. Unfortunately, Elsa got a little bit out of control and has frozen the ride again, so we're gonna come back in a bit. Um, you can get your avocado margarita. Yeah. And then we can just chill. Chill. Yeah, and we're still very tired. And it's currently, what time is it now? Four? Um, no, 20 to three. 20 to three, okay, so three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, we're tired. Hola, Pat. Hola. Como esta? Yeah. <laughs> Je ne parle espagnol. <laughs> Je ne. No. Remember me. 
Say. Remember me! I love Coco. So they have this little bar in Mexico which I've never seen before. Yeah. La Casa del Tequila, I think. I might have butchered that. But it's this adorable little bar that obviously does the margarita that Pat is looking forward to. But they've also got this nice little seating area. Oh wow, I really like it. Back out into the place where retinas don't work. <laughs> oh. You enjoying your drink though? It's good, but I can taste the tequila a lot. I think it's because I've not had tequila <laughs> since my last one of these. Some of it like... So you're going to be fun this evening? Yeah! <laughs> this is going to sound like a really stupid comment, but I love Flower and Garden Festival where they have all the flowers out. Mm. Like, they have floating the thing, flowers, yeah. yeah. On the thing. On the thing. On the water. On the water. Got all the flowers on the water. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that flowers though. Yes, I need to get this new magic band because well, space grey is very like 80s realness. I'm here for more millennial pink that goes with my branding and my pink shorts. It's like the Beauty and the Beast one, but it's an Epcot one. And look, oh, such aesthetic. Yes. So I'm currently looking at this one. However, they also have this. Dooney and Burke one, which looks amazing. And I'm gonna use my gift card to buy this, so thank you Disney for my magic band. <laughs> Got my new magic band, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna link it by typing in the number on the back uh, into my Disney experience. So I've got my new aesthetic going on, yes. I've also got little pink bits on my t-shirt, and I've also got a pink hat in my bag as well. So I'm thinking bubblegum wall pick, yes. We're gonna do Spaceship Earth because it's air conditioned, which is a big bonus right now. It's not that hot. No. It's hot enough. Um, and then possibly some of the attractions in the land. And then we're just gonna kind of mosey. <laughs> we're taking it very chill because we do not want to tire ourselves out further than what we already are. We've still got a survive an evening. That was a five one, wasn't it? Yeah. We're coming, Dame Judy Dench. We are coming. Yeah, Spaceship Earth smell. I like you. Oh. Bloop. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the, the Venetians. Venetians. They invented them. Oh, here comes a smelling hole. Oh, that smells good. And the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Oh no! Much of our learning is destroyed and lost forever. Or so we think. Plot twist! The newsroom in C. We will resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Well, we're stuck in the 1900s, Pat. What would you like to do? Do you want to be a cool girl? I look to look, uh, look over slightly to the side and then it makes it look like you're looking at the people in the video. <laughs> you look really nervous. I'm so unimpressed by everything. Let's go smell the land. Thank you. We are at Sorin, we are in lane Wynn. 
which is the one I like to go for because you don't have people's feet dangling in your face. <laughs> uh, as you probably know from watching my previous vlogs, there's no point in me showing you this ride because no camera allowed. None. Not at all. Zero. Left it. Right, now, rumour has it, Frozen is open again. Yes. Um, so, should we do the World Showcase? Yeah. World Showcase and Chill. I like what it means. World, <laughs> World Showcase and Chill. I like that. Oh, that looks funny, eh? Like the, the, like, bed. I like the pastel aesthetic. <laughs> if it wasn't for so long, Quite cute, isn't it? Hmm. The Vikings are out. This is one ride I just can't let it go on. Whee! I've said this before, but I'll say it again. If you want a good seat on Frozen Ever After, request to be at the back because you get to see everything. Everything. Woohoo! Watch try right time! If you're not in the back row, you don't see this little guy. You can actually bypass the shop if you want to by using the doors on the left hand side but we're Frozen fans so we're going to the shop. We are now strolling around the world. I have taken my sunglasses off in an attempt to not get sunglass rings around my face which is quite possible. Um, it's coming up to quarter past four which means that once we've walked around the world we should be ready to head over to the boardwalks. We're meeting the rest of the gang there at six to have a tour of the resort. And we've got Abracadabra Bar and then Flying Fish for dinner, yeah. I'm currently torn between getting my usual, which is the caramel and chocolate dip strawberry or the caramel s'more. So we both decided to go for the caramel s'more. Ready, cheers. Clunk. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of chocolate on that. Mm. I'm not complaining about that. So the reason I went for this over the chocolate covered strawberry is that this is the same price as the chocolate covered strawberry but it's a bit bigger. So I was like, yeah, it's getting your money's worth. Um, next time I think I might stick to the, my tradition though because that uh, is a personal favorite of mine. This is still nice though. Very chewy. It's huge. Huge. I've now got the hat on because the hair has given up. That's fine. Um, I'm going to swap my fuel rod in World Traveller and then we're going to head over to the boardwalk and just take some time to chill out in the lobby in some air conditioning because girl, we're hot and we tired. In she goes. Yeah, you got some nice there. Enjoy it. And down she blows. Considering that I was here three months ago and basically nothing ever done for the skyline and I can already see like there's two towers over there finished. And they've got this concept art up now, which kind of shows you where it's going to go. So it's going to go from Art of Animation and Pop Century on the bridge, which is where we were. It's going to go to Caribbean Beach, Hollywood Studios, Disney's Riviera Resort, which is currently proposed, and then Epcot. And that's what the layout for the station looks like. 
Nice. So that's where we were earlier, Yacht Club. Epcot was down there. And now we're off to the boardwalk. Over here. This is the lobby of the boardwalk. Isn't there a song about the boardwalk? At the bar? No. That's not it. I'm sure there is. Uh, anyway. Uh, we are chilling out here waiting for the rest of the group to come about. Then we are going to Africa Dab but I uh, just so tired. But we're having we're having a really fun day. Um, I really enjoyed the Yacht Club Suite tour. That was like the highlight for me so far. Um, and Frozen Ever After Bay. So I have never seen this before, but you see these like the gold frames that are like kind of like above the reception desk and like up here above the windows and stuff um, they're actually from carousels that Disney repurposed and they painted different castles in the frames that's Shanghai and you've got like the different thing I think that's maybe Disneyland Paris Walt Disney World is over there like that is really cool it's their authentic like 1920s carousel pieces that have been remade into the resort. I like that. So this is a remake of a hotel that actually exists where you can stay in an elephant. Lucy the elephant. So those actually on the chairs when the Imagineers originally got them. We don't know specifically who they were. This weighs 3,000 pounds. Hand plated gold all the way across it so that it is legitimate gold. All hand blown Austrian glass all the way across from the big bubbles to the little kind of lamp shaped glass pieces that they have up there. Uh, it is the largest chandelier on Disney property. And while I keep saying chandelier, the proper term is the electro -lear. Uh, Thomas Edison, when he invented the light bulb, he sort of came out and unveiled it to everybody. He figured that the word electro -lear, being the electric light bulb, would eventually replace the word chandelier. Uh, well, it didn't necessarily take off, but it is an actual word, and this is technically what it is. So it's a electro -lear. Uh, hippocampus, that weird word that we were talking about a little bit before, it's an old uh, Latin word that would mean half horse, half sea creature. And it's just one of those very grand and odd displays to get more attention about what's going on in the world around you. So this particular room that we're in right now is called the Bellevue Lounge. Um, in my opinion, in the morning, the absolute best place to come for breakfast. It's a very quiet, sort of secluded, out of the way place where guests can come and grab, once again, in my opinion, the best breakfast sandwich on all of Disney property. Be it, you know, the baked egg and cheese croissant, or uh, you know, the sausage egg and cheese little kind of English muffins they have. They're amazing. They're really, really good. Um, that's going to be available in the mornings. Noted. So they have these um, board games and stuff on the, on the wall. You can actually play these. All you have to do is request for the pieces from the bar. Um, and they also have these books, and they're all like books you can pull out and take a look at. And there's like notes in there for like guests to other guests and from like previous people and stuff. It's so cool. Ooh. I like the headboards. Look at the, look at the lamp. That's the big thing about boardwalk that I like. Oh, it's so cute. I'm enjoying the high ceilings as well. Oh, I love the details in the chair. Is that every room or is that most rooms? Uh, it's going to be every room until you kind of move up categories. You can request king size beds. Those are generally only available per request, but they are definitely available. Okay. I need this as a rug. Is that the greatest showman? Sorry, not Disney. <laughs> so the room that we saw was at the Boardwalk Inn, that's like the standard hotel rooms. We are now about to go into a grand villa over at the Boardwalk, which is quite exciting. I've never seen this before. Okay, well, for starters, we have an atrium. Housekeeping! <laughs> oh my... Oh, come on, I see stairs. <laughs> two stories? There's a two story version. They have one story versions also. Wow. That is called Beatrice. Okay. Um, what is this? There's a kitchen. Of course, since there's a dining room. Yep, there is a kitchen. We do, we love a bathroom, Pat. Oh, hello, bedroom. I thought you were going to jump on the middle. Oh, yes! 
Yes, jacuzzi bath that you can see from the living room. Look at that, that's incredible. That is a very yeah. nice view. This. It's a bit oh yeah! Well, like but, so we've got that bathroom, and then we've got the shower room. Ooh la la. When my parents stayed in November, this is the bathroom setup is almost the same. But I love the fact that there's a dining room. So just, you know, casually walking upstairs in a room. I know this sounds ridiculous. There's a landing and all. Ooh. Me likey. Just a little balcony into your living room. We're going to have another room upstairs. Oh, just how do they make green look so good? <laughs> like you would never, I would never pick green for an interior, but this works. Well, if you think about it, there's a, there's a king, king size bed downstairs. And then you've also got two of these. So that's 10 people. Ten people. And I'm sure that there's going to be like a sofa bed somewhere, yeah. Well, if you've got a big family and you've got some money to spend, the Granvers, they may do the trick. I'm thinking about staying at 2,500 to 4,300. But if you've got like a family, like three families in here, not too bad. Boardwalk has possibly one of the best themings for a pool. I love the roller coaster slide. A few people know this, I don't think everybody knows. Label. Just pop up. Oh yeah. Magic hat and my last name, Yas. <laughs> and it's spelt the right way as well. You would absolutely despise that. <laughs> you would hate that way. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have gone for like cotton candy. We've gone for the Seashore Sweet, Absolute Citron and Odwala Lemonade uh, Cotton Candy Syrup. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Oh yeah, sorry. That was my hand. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> I like drinks where you don't really taste the alcohol. Just, yeah, it literally just tastes like juice. I'm gonna go out on a whim here and say that this is almost as good as a magical star. What's that? It's the best cocktail in Disney World. Yeah. Right, we are here at the four. Oh, why wow. This has been refurbished since I was last here. This is the flying fish. Are we on these tables? Can we go by the kitchen, please? So here at the Flying Fish, the atmosphere is incredible. Like, that scenery though. Um, I'm also right by the kitchen, which is great because it's nice and toasty in the air conditioning. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> it's a video, so you can just wave. <laughs> So we're starting off our meal with an amuse. Voila. The presentation is on point. Can we take a moment to appreciate the fork? That is a fish. It's a fish. Thank you. This is our appetizer. We've got pork belly and endive. And a salad. One of the folks is sitting so close to the kitchen because you get to flirt with all the kitchen stuff. Which I'm doing embarrassing no, 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 jobs actually, on. He's just like, oh, the starts is there for me. And I'm like, no, you just said they're forced to be there. No, no, James has said he's there for me. So, you know. No. Oh. James is very pretty. So is Christopher. Hi, if you're either of you watching, hello. We really enjoyed our time. Help Thank me. you so much. Help me. Help me. Help me. Say hello to my filet mignon. Woo! 
Um, so this is what it's supposed to look like, but with some mushrooms on it. I didn't like any of that, so I just asked for this. And I got this! So for someone who's being really fussy about like not having mushrooms, not having truffles, they've made a really good dish for me. And Flying Fish has a big thumbs up for me. I've enjoyed both of the, well, I enjoyed the muse and I enjoyed the appetizer and this as well, so. This is much better than the first time I came, which was years ago, and it's been refurbished and stuff, so I'd recommend. I told myself I was too full. But I tried it. This is a chocolate mousse dessert and it was incredible. But now it is time for bed. We've just got back to the room from Flying Fish. Honestly, such a good meal. So good. I'm so... <laughs> I don't think I've been this full since like Christmas. I think because uh... we're so tired as well. We're just like... Oh we're my a god. Bit delirious. Yeah, I've had it's... three drinks this evening as well. So I'm just like... It was needed though. I... I'm really hoping that this is enough to make me just go off. Also, right, so, quick room tour. Like, really quick room tour because, girl, I need to sleep. Um, so, queen size bed, queen size bed. I love the netting that they've done, like, mosquito net-esque. Ceiling fan, fantastic. What Disney World today in the TV, obviously. Drawers are down there, we have a fridge, we have my suitcase, which is rather exciting, not table by the way we came back to the room and they've left us cookies and then, and then pat was like and a glass and then she was like oh wait a minute look in the fridge they brought us cookies and milk if we hadn't ate so much food we would be on like that. but what is this like incredible. Incredible. i am um, i'm i like I know I'm vlogging this, and I know I'm trying to be like really professional and really like, oh my god, this is fantastic. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like the amount, like when they gave us like the the drawings today, I, I was like, where are we? We're in awe. We, we are in awe. And like having an amazing dinner. Like if we had bought that dinner, considering that we had like two glasses of wine, yeah, three courses that would have easily cost us eighty dollars. Yeah. More. Plus, yeah. like, gratuity and everything, and Disney's just, they are such good hosts. Um, so, I'm gonna put it in there, like, thank you, Disney, love you. Anyway, room tour. Um, they have given us robes, because we are technically a club-level room. Even though we're not on, like, on the club-level level, um, the room's being treated like it's a club-level room. So we get turn-down service with, like, chocolates on the bed and stuff. Um, and then in here we have, like, ironing board, hairdryer, extra pillow, extra blanket. Um, there is a safe, it's one of those ones that's just like on the side of the wall, like that, so there's enough for your passport and stuff if you need it. Iron, great. Um, that's an adjoining room. And then we have the lovely his and hers sinks. Comes in very handy when there's like, when you're a couple. Um, or like me and Pat, your friends. Uh, then there's a the bathroom. La la. La la. And my favourite thing about this room is this wallpaper. I want this in my house in some way, shape or form. I love it. Anyway, um, we've had a fantastic day, albeit extremely tiring. Um, I am so ready for bed in so many ways, you have no idea. Um, so, it's without further ado, I say please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to all my future stuff, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow!